station? Um, my connections to the station are, is one, I used to use the station. Um, two, the station was like a significant centre of Birmingham. And I've got an older brother, and he was quite interested in steam trains, which you had in those days. Um, people, you know, steam trains had got like a lot of enthusiasts following. So my brother would go to next to station to quite often to look at steam trains. And so I was sort of, I would go with him. I was sort of relatively interested in steam trains, but I actually thought a lot of the station itself as well. Got lots of interesting places, lots of passages and tunnels and things that were. There was a thing about when it was British Rail as well. Um, British Rail was a, a huge employer of people. And so it, it, British Rail liked to get young people interested in the railways in, in, in the hope that you would come and work for them. I mean, it, it employed hundreds of thousands of people. And so it was almost like a showcase. So when you went onto the old station and there was a steam train standing there, the drivers would let you in the cab and have a look around and they would talk to you about the train, you know, um, because they were almost encouraging you to come and, come and work for us, you know, we had a great company to work for. You'd watch trains come into the stations and there'd be a man who'd walk around on the station with a hammer on a long stick and he'd be tapping all the wheels of the trains to make sure that none of the wheels was cracked. And nowadays they've got like electric machines to do that so they don't have that man. Um, there were all these sorts of parcel carriages on the station which used to disappear down these long tunnels which apparently go into the mailbox, in, you, know, you know, the big red building, you know, these tunnels went for about a mile into the mailbox. And we used to generally have a sort of wandered around. It was also, I think, life almost seemed a little bit more relaxed. So although I think people were relatively poor in those days, um, it, it seemed less bound up with health and safety and, you know, rules. So you could go on onto the train, you could talk to the engine men, you could just go to the station and look at the trains, you know, that, that was permissible, but nowadays, you know, you, you, you can't really go to the station if, unless you've got a ticket to travel. Um, and I think them, them are the sort of my interesting memories I've got in Nistra Station, why I liked it. How often did you attend the station? When I was a kid, in the 50s, yeah. uh, certainly every Saturday or Sunday, quite often in the week as well, because there were certain trains that you wanted to see. There was a train at uh, about five o'clock that came in from Glasgow, uh, and we knew, train spotters, we knew that that changed engines at Crewe, and occasionally you got an engine straight out of Crewe Railway Works, Put on it as a test, so you got more exotic engines than you'd normally get at New Street Station. So, quite often every day, New Street was always very scruffy and dirty. It was quite a dirty place, very sooty. Certainly in the days of steam trains, it was very sooty. But it was big, so as train spotters, we liked it because it was big. As I was growing up, I got less interested in train spotting. But the station was still there. Um, my dad owned a van, which I used to borrow sometimes, so I could take girlfriends out. So, yeah, human. Um, what I found was that having a van, there was a parcels department to New Street Station, off Station Street. If you drove in there with a the van and just parked it there, nobody ever questioned what it was doing there. So you got free parking in the city centre. No problem. So you'd leave it there, you'd take your girlfriend to the pictures or go for a meal or whatever you were gonna do. Then you could come back, kiss and cuddle in the van, in the quiet, in the parcels department. So that was great, it was a great facility until they pulled it down and changed it. The, the railway station had uh, a cafe that was open late at night. It was one of the few places in Birmingham that was at open late at night. The pubs used to close at 10. And that was it. So if you were a youngster, I was probably in my early teens or late, later teens in the early 60s, then nightclubs hadn't really evolved in Birmingham. There was nowhere really to go. So you tended to end up at the, uh, the cafe on Queen's Drive by the railway station. Uh, and that stayed open pretty much all night as far as we were concerned. It probably closed about two in the morning. Um, you used to find all sorts of people there. 
um, tramps, uh, travellers, ladies of the night, shall we say. Um, it was a good place to, to meet people sometimes, late at night. Um, it was just a gathering place, and that was, a, that was the cafe on Queen's Drive. In the daytime, it was just a station cafe, but at night, it became part of Birmingham's nightlife for a short time. My other abiding memory of New Street was uh, uh, meeting two new aunties. Uh, my mother discovered that she'd got two half-sisters quite late in her life, in her 60s. And so these two aunties came up to the Midlands to meet us. Uh, and I remember standing there on New Street Station to meet these two strange old ladies. Um, and they're quite nice and we got to know them quite well. And last year I went to Australia to meet one of their kids in, uh, in Melbourne. So, you know, meeting them at New Street took me around the world. So, New Street's been okay. Keep your hands on the rail and you will be safe. Keep your feet on the steps and a smile on your face. Travel safely. You're not seriously taking that on the escalator, are you? The lift is just behind you. A fall, a slip can result in a hospital trip. Please avoid accidents by not running on the station platform, stairs and walkways. Your safety is our priority. Help us to help others. If you see anyone in distress or in need of assistance, please inform a police officer or one of my colleagues. Hello. Please do not leave your belongings unattended, as they could cause a security alert and may be removed without warning. Please keep your belongings with you at all times. Please make sure you stand well clear of the platform edge whilst waiting for your train. If you require any assistance, please speak to one of my colleagues. If you require any first aid medical attention, please speak to my colleagues situated in the customer reception towards the south side entrance. 